Hi everybody. In celebration of African American Music Appreciation Month, um, I wanted to pull a stack of LPs um, that Ella Fitzgerald recorded for Verve Records. Um, prior to her involvement with Verve, uh, Ella recorded for Decca, uh, mostly popular novelty tunes, and her audience and critics both knew that Ella had far more talent um, than Decca was allowing her to use. Norman Grants, who founded Verve Records, on the other hand, um, knew that uh, Ella had an immense talent. And so from 1956 to 1964, uh, the two of them worked to produce uh, these eight albums, starting with the Cole Porter songbook. These were, um, these had arrangements by some of the greatest arrangers of the day and lush arrangements. Um, and they elevated Ella to superstar status, although she still faced discrimination. Um, many of the concert venues and the hotels uh, where she performed expected Ella to still enter through the back door, um, but Norman Granz demanded that she be able to enter through the front door just like everybody else. In her New York Times obituary, Frank Rich wrote, in the songbook series, she performed a cultural transaction as extraordinary as Elvis's contemporaneous integration of white and African-American soul. Here was a black woman popularizing urban songs often written by immigrant Jews to a national audience of white Christians. Ella's musical influence lives on today through the Ella Fitzgerald Charitable Foundation, which provides funding to promote music appreciation to disadvantaged youth. I would encourage you that if you have one of these um, uh, LPs or the CD in your collection to pull one out and listen to it today. Thanks so much.